how long does an executor have to sell a house? That's our topic today, and we're going to get started now. Hi, I'm Charlotte Volt, real estate broker, author, and certified probate specialist and trust advisor. So how long does an executor or administrator have to sell a house? Whether the best decision is to sell the decedent's home directly to a cash investor or not. So let's dissect that a little bit. It depends on when the probate court appoints the executor or the administrator, and it also depends on the letters of administration. So let me explain a little bit. The letters of administration have an expiration date on them. In most cases, the decedent's home is sold long before the letter expires, and that's typically 12 to 18 months from the court appointing the executor or the administrator to that time period. Now, part of the probate process is for notices to be placed in a local newspaper, and this gives notice to all interested parties like creditors, but because of that, it's public to investors and real estate agents and anyone else that would like that information about probate. And it gives them executor or the administrator's contact information, the decedent's home information, and more. So the next step is that the investor or the real estate agents begin their marketing program. Executors and administrators tell me they receive a lot of mail and so many phone calls from people wanting to purchase or list the property. And they also say that this is very, very overwhelming. And many of the mail pieces they receive will offer a purchase price for the estate. And this can prove to be a bit problematic because the interior of the property has not even been viewed. Ah, that is very critical. Why? Because from experience, once the investor views a property, the price is adjusted. And it's not ever adjusted higher. About six months ago, I met with Randy. He was executor of his mother's estate. And Randy had just had an investor come and offer an amount for the house, as is, no repairs, and no commissions to be paid. And all that needed to be done was for him to sign, and it would be fast. Now, all of this sounds good when you're in overwhelm. That part of you is saying, hurry up, let's get this over with, let's get this experience behind us. What's more important is to have a stop sign. My years of experience helping executors and administrator results pointing to selling a piece of property to an investor is typically not the best ideas. And these are the top three reasons. One, there are many people in the market ready to buy the real estate in the estate that you have or you're responsible for. And they're willing to pay much more than a cash investor. Two, it's very important that the Association of Realtor Documents which are part of the transaction to protect the financial and legal rights of the estate. And you as the executor or administrator needs to be very on top of that, that they're done, they're accurate, and remembering that the buck stops with you. The third thing is a person purchasing the probate property is naturally looking out for the best interest of themselves, not the best interest of the estate. So before you decide to sell real estate, call me for a free, absolutely no obligation consultation at the number below. And that way we can discuss your exact circumstances. You'll have the facts and then you can make a truly informed decision. Should I take this cash offer or not? Now, if you have a question on your situation, call me directly. You have that number or leave a question or comment below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Oh.